my tires today I'm going to show you a really cool Euro nymphing fly that we call the greeny worm and Trevor who's one of my fly fishing buddies said the secret to nymph fishing is to get the fly down where the fish is fish is fish are and to do that when you're tying you've either got to use tungsten beads or a little bit of lead so I'm gonna get some of this cancer causing lead in California and wrap it just on the top of my hook I'm gonna put just a little bit of super glue in there and then I'm gonna wrap this is just some light olive Danville 3 op monocord I'm gonna wrap it in there nice and then what we're gonna do is we're going to get some black thread Oops. and I keep it on the bobbin and I just tie the tip of it onto the hook like so and this is what I'm going to do to rib the fly. I'm just going to hang it off the back of my vise at this point. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get just some green nymph body. This is just some colored latex. And I'm going to wrap it kind of on the side of my hook. So it gets the fly to be just a little bit more broad. And then I'll wrap up through. Go to the front. And then we'll whip finish our green thread. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our nymph body and we're just going to wrap it carefully end over end so it gives itself some ribbing like so <laughs> oh, I got ahead of myself. I wasn't supposed to cut my green thread off yet. So you're learning how to improvise. Alright. Saving the fly. Just go back. Just wrap it nice and careful. Try to get it as evenly spaced as you can. Okay, and once I'm to this point, I pull it quite tight and I wrap my thread around it and I pull it tight again and then I cut, cinch it down and now what I'll do is I'll whip finish it. So I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. I'm not going to edit it. I want you to see that even the seasoned fly tire makes mistakes. But I want to show you how to save it. Okay, so now we have the greeny worm body. So now I'm going to take our black thread and I'm going to wrap three wraps behind it. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my ribbing. Keep it nice and evenly spaced. Get 
it all the way to the front and then I'm actually going to make a black head and I don't know why but the black head on the green body the fish seem to like I think it gives it a little bit of a contrast and the cool thing about this fly is you can make it really small by using smaller um, latex strips or even some V-rib or you can actually make them quite big so it looks like a maggot fly okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some UV glue and we're gonna start at the back I keep hitting that with my light accidentally in it all right but first this is a little bit bright and so what I do is I get some a tan permanent marker and I go through it and you can see that the more I do this oh, the more of a natural nymph green it starts to turn into and I will keep my underbelly a little bit lighter but this back part I really want it more of a brownish green color okay now what we do is we get our UV glue and we start in the back and we just coat all the way to the front and I actually coat the whole fly So everything's nice and even and wormy and buggy and shiny. Okay. Then what I do is I leave it upside for just upside down for just a minute so that that glue just starts to drip and then I hurry and hit it on top what it does it gives that worm just a little extra hump and then I just start spinning it around until we are all done and you can see that with that marker and the black ribbing and then you put that glue on and it just pops and looks really really cool really buggy we'll zoom in on this on the video so you can see I mean it it looks awesome so that my friends is the greeny worm guaranteed to catch fish it's really heavy gets right down to them and it's just a little tiny worm that's drifting through the riffle and when fish see it they can't resist it so thank you for watching another video of Angler Maids Aaron at the Fly Desk. Thank you for watching.